For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the asymptotes of logarithmic functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say asymptote, it is drawn as dashed line to which a graph gets closer and closer as the x and y increases or decreases its value without bound. Always remember, asymptote serves as boundary line in which the graph of the function approaches. And there are three kinds of asymptotes, vertical, horizontal, and slant or oblique asymptote. However, logarithmic functions only have vertical asymptote. And when we say vertical asymptote, it is a graph as vertical dashed line. It is the value of x as the graph approaches toward positive or negative infinity. To solve for the vertical asymptote of logarithmic function, simply equate the argument equal to 0 and solve for the value of x. And those are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to determine the asymptotes of logarithmic functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, y equals log x base 2. To solve for the vertical asymptote of the given function, let us simply equate the argument equal to 0. So let us have x equal to 0. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is equal to x equal to 0. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, y equals log x plus 2 base 5 minus 3. To solve for the vertical asymptote, let us simply equate the argument equal to 0. So let us have x plus 2 equal to 0. And let us move 2 on the side of 0. It will give us x equals negative 2. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is equal to x equals negative 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, y equals log 2x minus 5 base 1 half minus 4. To find the value of the vertical asymptote, let us equate the argument equal to 0. So let us have 2x minus 5 equal to 0. So let us move negative 5 on the side of 0. It will give us 2x equals 5. And let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So x equals 5 over 2. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is equal to x equals 5 over 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, y equals log 3x minus 4 base 3 minus 1. To find the value of the vertical asymptote, let us simply equate the argument equal to 0. So let us have 3x minus 4 equal to 0. And let us move negative 4 on the side of 0. It will give us 3x equals 4. And let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So x equals 4 over 3. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is equal to x equals 4 over 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, y equals log x plus 8 base 1 half plus 1. To find the value of the vertical asymptote, let us simply equate the argument equal to 0. So let us have x plus 8 equal to 0. And let us move positive 8 on the side of 0. It will give us x equals negative 8. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is equal to x equals negative 8. Eight, and this will be our answer. On example number 6, y equals log 2x plus 3 over 4 base 2 third minus 4. To find the value of the vertical asymptote, let us simply equate the argument equal to 0. So let us have 2x plus 3 over 4 equal to 0. And let us move 3 over 4 on the side of 0. It will give us 2x equals negative 3 over 4. And let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So x equals negative 3 over 4 times 2 and that is 8. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is equal to x equals negative 3 
over 8. And this will be our answer. On our last example, y equals log 3x minus 4 over 5 base 1 half minus 7. To solve for the vertical asymptote of the given function, let us simply equate the argument equal to 0 and solve for the value of x. So let us have 3x minus 4 over 5 equal to 0. Let us move negative 4 over 5 on the side of 0. It will give us 3x equals 4 over 5. And let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So x is equal to 4 over 5 times 3, that is 15. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is equal to x equals 4 over 15. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.